Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm going to be working in my traveler's notebook. But before I start, I wanted to share these beautiful stamp sets that were sent to me by Effie from the Tun Stamp Shop. Love these stamps and she also sent me a bunch of beautiful ink pads. The colors are so yummy and I can't wait to use them on my spread today. Now I decided to use gray ink and yellow ink because I knew I wanted to use this spread in my Studio Calico Traveler's Notebook. And that title was kind of an orangey yellow, so I tried to match my ink pads to that. I'm also gonna be using these really tiny photos of my son. I printed them very small because I knew I wanted to use this frame stamp set it was just full of frames and I wanted my photos to fit into those frames. So I printed my photos really small and I did not measure my photos. I really don't know what they ended up being, but I did it on purpose because I wanted them to fit and it worked out really well and they fit beautifully in some of these frames. I'm gonna go ahead and start stamping my frames. I'm doing this very randomly. I just want them to look like this whole layout is a bunch of frames hanging off of a wall and I'm not thinking about this I'm just going with it and it worked out really well I always feel like when I don't think about something too hard it just works if I sit there and plan things out it does not turn out like I planned it so I always recommend to just go for it it's a layout it's scrapbooking it's crafting you don't have to perfect everything and believe me it will work out i actually tried some of these frames uh, on the side on some pattern paper because i thought they would be buildable but it turned out that they're not that's okay i tried it out uh, off my layout it didn't work and i'm still good to go i always try things before i stamp them just in case So I'm just going to go ahead stamp some of these on some pattern paper because the ones that I stamped on the pattern paper I'm going to end up fussy cutting out and then trimming the inside or the center of my frame to add my photo. I'd rather um, kind of do it that way because I want to give some depth to my pictures. If I just stuck the picture in the center of the frame you would notice or you could see that it was just stuck on the stamped image but if you cut out the center and add the frame behind it or I mean the picture behind it it would look so much better and give you kind of that depth if that makes sense so I'm gonna trim these out I will cut out the centers and add my photos in the center of these frames By the way, I don't know if these frames or the stamp set comes with die cuts, but I do know she has die cuts with a lot of her stamp sets. So if you're not big on fussy cutting, you could definitely look on the website and see if this frame stamp set comes with die cuts. But you guys know me, I don't mind fussy cutting things out. So I just went ahead and did it by hand. I did edit out a lot of this because there was a lot of headshots. I was trying to make sure that I cut out those centers perfectly and add my photos in there. Now that I have everything trimmed out and cut out, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my tape runner and stick down my frames to my photos. Now in that same stamp set, there's little hearts and words and a deer head. And of course, I'm gonna use that deer head in one of my frames. There's also these little lines, kind of reflection lines that I will be adding to some of them. 
I will grab a different stamp set. I believe it's called freaking fabulous. And I'm going to stamp freaking great uh, because I use some of these beautiful pictures of my son and he's just freaking great. So I'm going to use that stamp set and also it brings in some of that yellow. I did use that mustardy yellow ink pad just to bring in the same color from my title. I'm also going to use other stamp sets to fill out my uh, little frames. This one is one of my favorites. It's called Mini Wild Flowers and it's buildable flowers and leaves. So I use two shades or two different shades of yellow ink pads to fill out this little flower. I also used another stamp set that's called I Got You and I stamped out You're My Favorite Person. And I love this gray. I think it's called fog if I'm not mistaken I might be wrong you guys but I will add all the links for everything I used on the spread down below for you and the names of the stamp sets that I used from the ton shop so um, if you are interested I will add all the links down below I'm also gonna go through my um, I believe my embellishments because I do want to add depth to my frames. So adding embellishments to something so flat like this when you stamp so much on a spread, adding embellishments really helps add depth to your layout. So I definitely recommend that. And that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go through my embellishments. I'm still filling out my photos or not my photos, my frames. And I'm also going to be stamping little words like love, happy, you, things like that right next to the pictures of my son. Once I'm done adding my embellishments, I feel like I there's something missing. So I decide to grab my pen and add these lines and little hangers on my frames to make it look more realistic. And I love that I did this because it made a huge difference on my spread. It really looked really cool. So I'm really happy I did that. Um, sometimes the smallest touches just by using your pen makes a humongous difference. And I love that. I'm not done. I'm going to go back and use that I Got You stamp set because I felt like that corner was kind of empty. So I'm going to stamp out You Make Me Happy. I love the phrases in that stamp set. And I'm also going to go back and use the Mini Wildflowers stamp set and add some more stamping in my frames. But of course, um, I felt like some of these frames were still empty and I needed a little bit more. So I'm going to end up adding more frames. I'm going to end up grabbing some word stickers and adding them around my frames, in my frames, just adding little touches here and there to complete my spread. By the way, this is why I love my Tim Holtz word booklet or my phrase booklet because it doesn't matter where you add them, it always looks good. And just cutting them up and adding them in these frames make a huge difference. Um, anyways, uh, the side of my spread, the far right side, felt like it needed a little something. And this is where I'll go back and grab that frame stamp set and add a few more frames right there, right under my little subtitle, um, just to fill out that empty space. Sometimes my layouts, like I have an idea and I know what I'm doing and sometimes I don't know what I'm doing and I just fill out as I go and that's okay. It still turned out beautiful, even though I went back and forth a million times with different stamps and different times where I grabbed embellishments and put them back but it's okay, it came together nicely, it's beautiful, and I'm in love with these new stamp sets and ink pads, 
and I definitely recommend them. As I said, I'm going to add all the links down below for you guys. Uh, you definitely need to go check out this shop. It's new to me, but I am in love already. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.